Frank Body, the Australian beauty brand that started with a simple coffee scrub and turned the internet on its head thanks to their passionate fans. We go into their Melbourne office to meet with two of the founders for a quick chat about what they're up to and learn about how you can get reground on their Instagram account. Hi, we're here with Erica and Jess from Frank Body. Um, hi girls. Hi. hi. Um, so you guys started Frank with Steve, Alex and... Brie. Brie. Yes, <laughs> you got it. Um, so how did that happen? Well, the five of us have been friends for quite a long time, nearly a decade now. And we've been looking to work on a project together for a while. Um, and we've been wanting that project to be product focused because we were all working in service-based industries and still are to some extent. So Steve, who owns a few cafes in Melbourne, had two women come and ask for the leftover coffee grinds from his machine. And that um, sort of spurred a few thoughts for him. At first he thought they were using it as a garden fertiliser because it's really great <laughs> yeah. to grow plants. And he chat with them a little bit more and they started explaining how they use it as a body exfoliant and it's really great for targeting things like stretch marks and cellulite. So he came back and told us and we found the idea pretty interesting. We're all self-proclaimed coffee addicts mm -hmm. so it kind of worked well. Um, we did a little bit more research and so it turned out that you needed to be able to use fresh coffee so that you got all of the benefits from the caffeine still being retained in the grind and not in the cup of coffee. Um, but a lot of the research that we did online showed there were really great benefits for using caffeine topically, but no one was actually packaging this up and marketing it as a product. It was just a lot of DIY caffeine. recipes at home. Well. Yeah. yeah. So who is Frank? <laughs> <laughs> we like to say that Frank is probably the voice that's in Brie, Jess in my head, the male voice at least, the one that can be a bit cheeky and call a girl out or call another girl a babe. Uh, basically, we had been working in the social space for a while. We also worked with a lot of brands on developing their tone of voice and doing their marketing, copywriting um, and advertising. So for us, we had a lot of experience in how to communicate with people online um, and through offline activity as well. And what we found, particularly in the beauty industry, was that a lot of brands were quite disconnected from their audience and they were talking in quite a, a cold way or just not really understanding how women wanted to be spoken to. So for us, we wanted to be a little bit disruptive. We wanted to be cheerfully on social, combining that with some risque imagery and just pushing the boundaries a little bit. We were also dealing with the fact that our first product, the original coffee scrub, this one here, it's in a craft paper bag. It's very simple. All the ingredients are written on the back of the pack. When you open it, it just looks like dirt. So we had to be very honest, we couldn't dress it up and charge a lot of money for the product. We couldn't say that it was some wonder, age-defying, scientifically formulated product either. We had to be very direct and upfront with our customers. So the idea was to be frank. So that's how everything kind of rolled out from there with our hashtags, let's be frank, the frank effect, and a million other coffee-based puns that we put across our packaging and our mm -hmm. social media. And it's been great, I think our customers have loved it. It's probably what has resonated with most people and given us the credibility that we have today. And so many of our customers take on that tone of voice and they talk like Frank or they're guessing as to who Frank is, if he is actually a guy or if he's just this mysterious person or if he is three women. So it's been a lot of fun. I love that, like a lot of my friends are huge fans of your marketing and they often are like, so did you guys purposely decide just to specifically be stopped online? and you know push your social media will you ever actually be available in a retailer or yeah, a lot of people ask that. <laughs> i think it was definitely a strategic decision to be an e-commerce brand from the start we had been working in the social media space for so long so saw the potential for brands to exist through a channel um, like instagram and uh, since then we've obviously grown a lot and we sell across the world and we have four distribution points and product can get to people in a matter of days with free shipping which is so great but for us there is a, a lot of people who still don't know about Frank Body or a lot of people who don't use social media and we want to be able to communicate to them and have touch points with them. So that's probably on the cards for us next year mm -hmm. is what that means for Frank Body in terms of a retail presence, whether that's our own store or partnering with some amazing retailers, it's all to come. In the works. Yes. Um, so we have some really passionate fans called Frankfurts. Yes. And <laughs> what is the craziest thing someone's done? Or we we <laughs> um, you're right. I, I 
we have really passionate and really loyal and vocal customers, which is amazing because all the ideas we put out there, they really want to get involved in. So we ran a competition that was called Very Frank Adventure, and the idea was to take your Frank coffee scrub to the most ridiculous place you could think of and take a really fun, interesting photo. So basically taking Frank on an adventure with you um, and uploading that using the hashtag. So we had people that were scrubbing under the Eiffel Tower, before, <laughs> under waterfalls. waterfalls. It was amazing and we got to see so much um, great content come from our customers yeah. and I think they had a lot of fun doing it as well. Yeah, so everything incredible. from individuals to couples to big bunches of friends to people with their grandmas, it's really nice building a sense of community and never before, like two years ago, I don't think any of us would have felt comfortable holding, say, our shampoo bottle next to our face and uploading a selfie, but now it's very much the norm and I like to think that we were sort of a part of that, that change in social and people sort of expressing what they do behind closed doors or removing their taboo of their beauty routine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Probably, I think, just quickly, the only other thing that's been amazing or crazy for us is to see people um, uploading photos or sending photos of the results that they're receiving from the products. So they've had such amazing benefits from using all of the Frank Body range for skin conditions like psoriasis and eczema and acne. Um, so we like yeah, it's, 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 it's insane. For that. Yeah, yeah, so we created the Frank feedback Instagram account just so that people could send in or we can upload before and after pictures and people can see the amazing results that people are having just after using some of the products two or three times. So that's been great for us. Yeah, it's really actually quite amazing that you've got so many followers on that account as well. Yeah. Um, so leading into that, do you guys have any background in beauty? In terms of formulating ingredient um, products, yeah, no, we don't. No, now we have two and a half years' experience doing yeah. it. Um, but prior to starting Frank, none of us had worked in that side of beauty. That said, myself and Erica and Bree had been working on the branding side for many years, and so we worked with quite a few Australian and international brands, helping them to develop their tone of voice. So we were quite well versed in terms of the messaging side of things, yeah. and we could see where there were gaps, as Erica was explaining before. But we've learned more about um, coffee and chemistry than I think any of us ever thought we would. So, <laughs> yeah. Because the coffee grinds are quite large molecules, I think, and a lot of people use it on their skin. Yeah. Is that damaging or a lot yeah. of people on Instagram? Well, I think, yeah, you can see from the results that we're getting that it's the opposite, like it's having a really amazing effect for people's skin. But, um, I mean, we work with a really great manufacturing team here who are obviously professionals at what they do, So, and we go through a lot of product testing. Um, the coffee grinds are sourced specifically for their high caffeine content, so that makes them incredibly beneficial to use on your skin because they're full of antioxidants, really, um, I guess, good at targeting free radicals. It's the same pH as your skin, so it won't dry you out. Um, and we grind it specifically so that you don't have sharp edges on the coffee grind, so it's not going to hurt your face. Yeah, good. <laughs> Rest assured. Do you okay. test on animals? No, only babes. Of course. <laughs> so where does your coffee come from? Most of it's sourced from India, um, and most of the range we use the Robusta coffee bean, and um, that's what you find in all of the body scrubs. Um, but then we use things like green coffee bean extract or coffee seed oil. I guess we're always looking at ways that we can use different types of coffee. So even though some of the products don't look like coffee, like face moisturizer, which actually comes out like a creamy white color, it's got a coffee seed extract mm. in there. Okay, that's amazing. Um... Speaking of your other products, because my friend, some one of my friends is like, I don't actually like coffee. Yeah. When are they going to launch other products? And I was like, well, actually, they have other products. Yeah. Um, when are you going to launch the other things? Like, well, I think the thing for Frank is that we are coffee-based skincare, so that's what we are always going to be doing, at least for the foreseeable future. That said, the face range and the body cream and body balm don't necessarily smell as much like coffee yeah. as the um, body scrubs do. So they just they actually smell really beautiful, like a nice combination of the natural oils. So you get really good hints of coffee. Does, the, um, does the other scrubs actually look like coffee as well? I don't think I've actually yeah. opened it. The peppermint, the coconut yeah. and cacao. Yeah. Yeah, they look quite similar to the original one. Um, some of them have a green coffee bean oh. grind in there as well. Okay. So you get little white specks through. The main difference is in the types of oils that we use in there, so slightly different benefits for the skin and they smell different. So I know you guys 
you know, it's all been quite a natural progression with launching the extra scrubs as well as your skincare range. What is next? <laughs> well, <laughs> what is it next? Yeah. We're, yeah, we're looking at a few different products. Um, we've always got things in the pipe work, so there'll be some new stuff coming up from us next year. Yeah, our customers have been so amazing in being quite vocal about what they want from us next, and it can be everything from hair care to sun care to specific um, parts on the body and we take it all um, into consideration and then I think it's just about what's the right brand fit for us, what kind of product can we actually formulate that fits into the market and what we love um, to use ourselves. So we kind of have a rule between Brie, Jess and I that if it's not going to replace the skincare products that we're currently using, we won't put it out there. We're lucky that we have an amazing office full of babes that can test the products too and we get very, very feedback amongst us all because we all have very different skin types too. So it's quite a process to get some of the products into market. I mean the face range, the, the charcoal cleanser took about a year specifically to get that right. And we want to make sure that we have a, a simple, great face range so with, or whole skincare range really. So we won't sort of just bring out 100 for the sake of it. It's amazing. Yeah. So I know you guys went on a massive trip. I think it was five weeks in America and London showcasing Frank and having a little bit of a holiday. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. 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 We Working a holiday. Yeah. Between 1 and 3 a.m. when we slept. <laughs> yeah. So obviously you guys are looking to expand overseas. Um, how, what was the feedback like and how was the holiday? Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, we already distribute in all of those regions, so we've got distribution set up in the US, Canada, and the UK so that we can service uh, pretty much the entire Northern Hemisphere. What we were doing was spending a bit more time just sitting down with a lot of the beauty editors. Um, it was amazing to know that so many of them had heard of the brand before, which is always kind of a bit of a pinch me moment when you find yourself on the other side of the world. But just really getting into, I guess, the specifics of the product and the benefits of coffee and just so that they have the best knowledge of the brands and then they can explain it to their readers in the best way possible as well. So we did that kind of girl band tour all through the US yeah. and then over to London. Uh, yeah, I saw some of your photos online. It did look like a girl band tour of you guys <laughs> in the hotel room. <laughs> we had a few by themselves. <laughs> yeah, that happened. With the Frank, of course. Mm -hmm. um, so I know... I, just have to ask, does Frank have a model fetish? Because he seems to regram a lot of models. Yeah. And a lot of my friends are like, does he ever regram normal girls? That yeah. All oh, the time. Most of the photos on the feed are from our customers. So yeah. we have between Let's Be Frank and The Frank Effect almost uh, well, over 150,000 tagged images, which is amazing that customers are voluntarily putting these up and getting naked and getting dirty and wanting the rest of the world to see. But yeah, the photos that are on our feed are from our customers. So they're ordinary girls. We have um, obviously models that we use in some of our campaigns, but some of the people that we've used have also been girls that we just scouted from Instagram. So the models have to look good anyway, so it's a good endorsement. I mean, they've got to look hot. So. Well, I think it's hard for anyone to look amazing when they're covered in <laughs> coffee, so I'm surprised that some of them still managed to pull it off. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> amazing. How long do you think shape. people take? Taking it the takes selfie. time. We, we've, tried, <laughs> we've tried and, and we're we're not really good that's why they're not on the feed that much. <laughs> yeah. But it's actually a girlfriend of mine suggested that question and she was like, and I asked her how long it took and she's like, oh, I tried for about 15 minutes but I couldn't get my hair right. It just wasn't <laughs> yeah. working. We don't have that time. <laughs> no. no. We always tell people that in the three to five minutes that you're leaving your coffee scrub on to do its thing, that's when you should try and take your selfie in that. You just need period. a waterproof camera to just... Yeah. In the shower. I think it's fun to do it with friends involved if you're in your bikini or you're in a row that almost relaxes it a little bit and you can just have a lot of fun and they're the photos that we love the most I think when people are just relaxed in their element being a bit cheeky and enjoying and the And you often product. get men taking photos of themselves as yeah, friends or even yeah. in the shower with their girlfriends which yeah. you know it's amazing that you guys appeal to men as well do you get a lot of feedback from men? We were, we were quite lucky, I mean, at, at the start we wanted to make sure that guys knew they could use the products and that it was fun to jump in the shower with their girlfriend. So we uh, developed a specific campaign and a hashtag called Real Men Scrub. There are definitely a lot of guys that would be introduced to the products via their girlfriends or their friends who were girls. 
and I think it's nice because there's no added fragrances so they are quite earthy natural um, smells that are from each product um, there's the four different scrubs obviously the peppermint one is probably more targeted towards men especially if they're in the gym and they're sweating or they get ingrown hairs or they have tired <laughs> muscles all of those things um, but the, the coffee scrubs in particular they're quite coarse they're rough they're they kind of lean towards a guy's product as well so check out that hashtag it's a lot it's of fun, fun. yeah <laughs> check yeah. that out <laughs> Well, thank you guys. Oh, actually, I have one more question. Yeah. What is Frank doing for Christmas? Coming to babes all over the world. <laughs> Hopefully he got, can get to all of them. Yeah. We've got a series of um, bundles, so they range from our lip jewelry, lip jewelry, which is really good stock and stuff, and that's $40.95 through to a box that pretty much delivers you the entire range. So there's a good um, type of bundle and price point for all the so different if presents. Santa can't make it, Frank can be there for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank so you. Much. It's nice to meet you.